And here's the lineup <laughs> just to get autographs. Brown, Fan Expo Brown variant exclusive and the blue variant exclusive. This is the Mecca, everybody. This is where everybody comes. We got Defenders of the Earth. That's a lot of manga, man. VIP access right here. Anthony Daniels, Esposito's over there. Kitty Sackhoff. Hey, oh, yeah. wow, they've got classics here, too. Okay, guys, it's, uh, it's pretty early in the morning, but uh, I gotta get up so that I can... Start heading down to uh, Toronto because today is day one of uh, Fan Expo. And this is the annual uh, event that, uh, that happens every year. Uh, we missed the last two years because of, of obviously, the, the pandemic. Uh, but they did have a show last year, but it was very, very small uh, comparatively to, to this year. Uh, this year is supposedly going to be the uh, return to form. Uh, Everything is going to come back to normal. And this is a four-day event. It is the largest uh, um, pop culture event in Canada. So yeah, guys, uh, just got to do a few more errands before we head down there. But as soon as we're uh, done those, we're going to head straight down to, uh, to Fan Expo to, to take a look. So guys, join me today as we go and yeah, have a, have a look at day one of Fan Expo. All right, guys. Alright guys, so we're downtown Toronto. Uh, today is day one of uh, Fan Expo. Uh, Fan Expo Canada is one of the largest, uh, if not the largest, <laughs> how do you too? If not the largest um, pop culture event in Canada. Uh, it spans four days and um, uh, pretty much takes over the entire Metro Toronto Convention Center for, uh, for those four days. So yeah, we're going to pop in here and um, yeah, I was lucky enough to get a press pass to, uh, to cover the event. I'm going to only be able to take a look at a little bit of the convention today, uh, but tomorrow I'm going to be there for the entire day. We're going to take a look at some of the events. We're going to see some of the uh, exhibits, maybe uh, maybe even find a couple of exclusives. Who knows? Anyway, this is the first time uh, they've had the full capacity, and of course, uh, you know, last three years. They had a smaller event last year, but uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't the size that it, that, that, it, that it usually is. So a lot of people are anticipating that this is going to be a big one, and uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's see what happens, guys. All right, I'm gonna go uh, pick up my press badge, and uh, yeah, we'll see you inside. And there's the Intercontinental Hotel where we're gonna pick up our press badge. Then we're gonna head over to the Metro Toronto Convention Center, which is right there, and take a look at the show floor really quickly because we have a Holy Grail to pick up today. More on that in a, bit, a little bit. All right, guys, let's head on inside. All right, so we're here. We're gonna go find out where the press office is and pick up our press badges. All right, so apparently they're over here at the Halton Room. Wow, the Intercontinental is hilarious. It's crazy looking. Yeah, it looks like everybody's heading out of here. It's probably in here. This is the Halton Room. So we're gonna head in here, pick up our press badge, and we're gonna head inside. So, got our press badge. We're all set to go. I'm gonna go ahead, check out the show floor for a little bit, but uh, not too much time to spend today. Uh, we're gonna just basically have a quick overview of the show floor, show you just how big the first building is, and then we're gonna head off to Silver Snail to pick up one of my holy grails. It's gonna be awesome. All right, guys, we'll see you inside. All right, guys, here we go. Fan Expo 2022. It's been a long time. All right, looks like the line to get in is right over here. Let's take a look at that. We even got Funko Pops here, some exclusives. Yeah. Very cool. Check out the Fan Expo Street Fighter U bobblehead. Brown, Fan Expo Brown variant exclusive and the blue variant exclusive. Very cool. Whole bunch of different comic covers. Very, very cool. All this wonderful staff working so hard. Good to see you guys. 
And this is the line to get in. Holy crap, look at these guys. That's crazy. All right, guys, it's gonna get crazy in a little bit, so let's go around while we still have a chance. Take a look. $105 for Dinobot Slug. What the heck? Are you kidding me? That's just crazy. <laughs> I know, right? Just crazy. $60 for Soundwave, $60, $80 for what? Ultra Magnus? Are you kidding me? We got Cyclonus here, so that's an Optimus Primal. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. Wow, these look pretty cool. Holy cow. Oh, check out Grimlock. That's awesome. I've always heard about him. $65 for this one. Crazy. See, these are how REDs should look. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Soundwave. Optimus Prime. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is the way the REDs should look. $80 on these. Honestly, if I was going to get these... And look, the size is actually right. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, so crazy, so crazy. All right, let's keep going. Someone's got a big axe. Huge axe. What's going on, Kratos? <laughs> Ooh, Thundercats. It's actually kind of cool. Neat. See, we're actually able to walk around right now, guys. In about 20 minutes, we're not going to be able to walk around at all. That's just gonna be the way it is. Look at these high gloss prints. Incredible. It's very flexible. Wow. Yeah. And you can use the tape. That's crazy. Excellent. Gallery Panda. Beautiful stuff. Thank you so much. Here is the celeb celebrity autograph area. It is huge. Look at this place. Again, in about 10 minutes, 20, uh, 15 minutes or so. It's gonna be ransacked over here, guys. It's gonna be nuts. People are going crazy right now. Everyone's lining up for William Shatner already. Naruto's ready. VIP access right here. Oop. We got Anthony Daniels over there. Esposito's over there. Kitty Sackhoff. Carl Weathers. Such great stars. It's gonna be a lot of fun this weekend. A lot of, lot of Star Wars alumni here. Look, they got Michael Rooker, Charlie Hunnam. Pretty sure I'm going to be berated for saying it that way. Ryan Hurst, Emilio Rivera, Theo Rossi. Elijah Wood, Billy Boyd, and Dominic Mon Monogram. Awesome stuff. This is, the first, this is the only time you're going to see this place empty. Like, seriously, this is the only time you're going to see this place absolutely empty. There's Sean Austin, Robert Englund, Jamie Campbell as Bowler. Sorry. Jamie Campbell Bowler? <laughs> Stranger Things. Oops. Meet the stars of Stranger Things. And here's the lineup just to get autographs. Crazy. Ah, Joseph Quinn. He's going to be really popular this year. Amazing. Hello. Hi, how are you? Not too bad. Yourself? Thank you. All right, guys. Let's take a quick overview of the entire area from the top. Then we're going to have to get going, unfortunately. But this is awesome. Hey, it's food. 
Overpriced food. <laughs> yeah, there's a place called Pizza Pizza here in Toronto, guys. The most popular pizza in the GTA. All right, let's take a look at the view of everywhere upstairs. We got some cosplayers here already. Awesome to see these guys. Exit to the street, which is not open yet. And here we have some cosplayers, tattoo artists. Wow, live tattoo demonstrations. This is gonna be crazy. Very, very cool. Some vintage, yes. Wow, Millennium Falcon, $300. Millennium Falcon spaceship. Some awesome stuff here. Even got the Shogun Warrior Skeletor. Very, very cool. Awesome stuff. And we've got some wonderful plushies here. Even a Batman mask. Good to see you. Hello. Excellent, thank you. Awesome stuff. Got some awesome cosplayers here. Good to see them. Hi guys. Look at this place. It's not open yet, but man, it is absolutely huge. Just crazy. All right, looks like they're starting to let people in. It's gonna be a great day today. I can't stay, unfortunately. It's gonna be one of those things where yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow, but everybody here is excited. They're all getting ready for today's show. And as you saw down there, it's just nuts. Everything's gonna be really, really packed later this afternoon. Um, it is only four o'clock right now. I think it's coming up, coming up to four o'clock in the afternoon. And yeah, it's gonna get really, really hectic around here. They let the doors open. Looks like everybody's coming in. Let's see if we can get a little bit of the frenzy. Yep, the doors have been open. Look at this sea of people, everybody. Oops. So many people. Lots of cosplayers. We see some JoJo cosplayers there. This is so great. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, there are two buildings. We're right now in the North Building. See how many floors there are? And then there's the South Building. So it's a heck of a lot of vendors, exhibitors. Just so much great stuff to take a look at. All right, guys, let's get going. All right, guys, I'm gonna get going, but it's been uh, an interesting first day here at Fan Expo. Uh, obviously, I didn't take too much time to spend around here. But tomorrow, we're going to be here all day. So yeah, guys, join me as I do the coverage for Fan Expo 2022. Now we're off to uh, Silver Snail, pick up one of my Holy Grails. We'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so I'm just walking up to uh, Silver Snail right now. Silver Snail is one of the uh, oldest comic book stores in Toronto. Um, Way back when I was a kid, there was no there was no other comic book stores in any sort of suburb or anything like that. Silver Snail is definitely one of those uh, historic places that you have to visit at least once. I wish I could have uh, I wish I could have visited there uh, when they were still on their uh, Young Street location. That was a huge place. It was amazing. But as it is right now, they're right here on Queen Street, one of their historic places to visit. So because they were here, I think 30 years ago, something like that. It was crazy. Anyways, we're coming up on it. Let's have a look and get into Silver Snail to grab one of my Holy Grails. And here we are, the Silver Snail. <laughs> I'll throw up a few pictures of the original Silver Snail location. You guys will, honestly, it really is one of the premier places for comics in Toronto. That and the Beguiling is definitely one of those amazing places you have to visit at least once when you're in 
Toronto. We got Spider-Man hanging out. We got Batman, Dune, Shades of Fear. Yeah, I know that guy. Bleach, complete volume set. That's a lot of manga, man. Yep. 46 years in Toronto, there you go. All right, let's head on this side. Uh, oops. Oh, yeah. This is the Mecca, everybody. This is where everybody comes to have a look at comics. All right, over here, the DC section. They got some really cool stuff. We've seen most of this already. They got some nice, wow, Amanda Connor. Interesting. But check it out. They have something new here. They have... Uh, where is he? There he is. Deathstorm. Huh. Never seen Deathstorm before, but he comes with the head of Atrocicus, or whatever. <laughs> Somebody's gonna yell at me. Wow, Mitzelplex. Oh my gosh. If anybody who knows who Mitzelplex is, you guys are awesome. Ooh. Avatar. Nice. Beautiful stuff. There's Sokka. Zuko. We got the Diamond Selects versions. Way more. Ooh, a Zuma. I've never seen a Zuma in the wild. Wow. And the Blue Spirit. Tom and Jerry. There's that talking head. Very, very cool. Alright, let's take a closer look. Some crunk here. <laughs> ODB, man. ODB. ODB. Very cool stuff. Some Super 7. Wrestlers. Very, very cool. Jetta Stone Troopers. Ooh, Reva. I've never seen her in the wild. That's amazing. I love the likeness. It really does look like Moses. Very cool. There's the new Darth Vader. He looks awesome. Drugstore as a kid. Look, it's Christian Haydenson. <laughs> 40 bucks. Good price. Wow. Heavy assault stormtrooper. Nice. Very, very cool. Comes with blast effects. There's Rava, the third sister. Vintage collection. I do love the, the way they can get photo reels. Oh, we want with Lola. Lola is so tiny. Look how small Lola is. Like she's the size of my thumbnail. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. And then of course there's Darth Vader. Christian Haydenson. Great stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple of gremlins. Nice. Very cool. Lex Luthor. Zelda. That is a huge Pennyworth. Is that is that NECA? Who makes this one? Who makes this? I don't know. I don't know who makes this, and I'm too scared to flip it over. So it will be a mystery for now. No, oh, it is NECA. There it is. Wow, that is a huge Pennyworth. That's crazy. Cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've got them, like, I've got a couple... Got some DC back. girls over there. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> awesome. Marvel Selects. Like, a whole bunch of different Marvel figures. Most right? of them we've like, already seen. Yeah. But check these out. <laughs> got some more G.I. Joes on here. $31.99. That's a good price. See, these are, these are good prices. Do not go to Toys R Us, guys. Definitely come here to Silver Snail. This is the place you gotta come. Because Toys R Us... $45. $45 for G.I. Joe's and Toys R Us. Definitely come here for, for your G.I. Joe's. Jean Grey. They got the glow in the dark Ghostbusters. Very, very cool stuff. Oh, wow. There she is. Studio Series RC. Wow. That's amazing. She looks awesome. Seriously. I really like the way she looks in this version. This is great. Excellent. 40 bucks. Very, very good price. Excellent stuff. Yes. Oh, there's the new Alita 1. Very cool to see her too. 
39 bucks. Good price. And there's Wild Rider. I've never seen him. Now he's. I found him in the wild here at Silver Snail. Awesome. $39.99. Good price. Very, very good price. Ooh. Got knock, uh, red, sorry, knockout here as well. That's awesome. And they do have this anime style Baroness. Very, very cool. Anime Scarlet. Very cool. Awesome. And over here we have BTS Ninja Turtles. We got the Foot Soldier, we got Bebop with his human head too. Kind of weird. We got Casey Jones, awesome figure. The Shredder. He's just too small for my NECA shelf though, unfortunately. All the Ninja Turtles, awesome to see them. We have the Turtles from Playmates and a couple more G.I. Joes. Naruto figures, wow. I could spend hours here, but I can't. <laughs> here are the Playmates uh, funny versions. Can you build it? Yeah. Let's say we have some more Black Series. A lot of ones that if you're missing... Oh, wow! They have Fingered Dan. Nice. Good to see him. Buy four of him, and you get a whole set. The Fifth Brother Inquisitor. Very, very cool. Yep, Silver Snail has everything up to date. Supreme Command... Uh, Super Commando. Wow. Awesome. Very, very cool. We don't get them that often. No price on this one, though. Oh, no, there it is. $27.99. Yeah. Very cool. Master Universe, obviously. They've even got a speeder bike from Oh Man, that thing's NPC. Actual edition. Beautiful stuff. Oh my god, there he is. There he is. Yes, indeed. That's him. There's my grail, everybody. We found him. The Blue Ranger, Billy. Beautiful. Oh, look how much dust is on here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Finally. $29.99 sold. We're taking this guy home. Absolutely. Beautiful. So, mission accomplished, guys. This is it. This is the one. Knew we'd find him here. If you're going to go anywhere to find action figures, definitely come to Silver Snail. You will always find what you're looking for here. They have everything, I'm telling you. They've even got Defenders of the Earth. This is definitely something we haven't seen in Toys R Us yet. Ming the Merciless. Beautiful stuff. And the Shadow. Sorry, the Phantom. Very cool. They don't seem to have... Yeah, it's only, it's only those three. This is crazy, guys. Oh, wow, they've got classics here, too. Man, I am, I've, got, I've, got to, I've got to really decide what to do here, because I could be here all, all day. I could be here all day. Oh, my gosh. Hydron. That's from uh, 2000X. It's free. No, it's not. That's 50 bucks. That's a really good price for classics. Wow. Wow. Geldor is up there. Anybody else? Nope, it's two Geldors. Very, very cool. Well, guys, that was our tour of one of the one of, one of the meccas of comic books here in Toronto. If you're ever in Toronto, guys, you have to visit Silver Snail. It is a must. Uh, it is a must place to visit. Uh, it is a must visit place in Toronto. If you're ever here visiting, like this has this place has a history that you cannot take away. One of the one of the first comic book stores in Toronto. One of the best comic book stores in Toronto. You guys have to visit this place. It's absolutely incredible. I only spent here a little bit of time here. We could spend hours here. I tell you. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to take my Grail, which I found right here, and I saw a whole bunch of other Grails here, which are so amazing, even Master Universe Classics. So definitely t take a look and visit Silver Snail if you're ever in Toronto, guys. You will not regret it. What a day, guys. What a day. Um, it's uh, 174. 174, 164 for each. Yeah. Wow. They do look awesome, though, but 
I'll hold off just for a little bit longer. <laughs> a little bit more pricey. Yeah, absolutely. They also have Super 7 up here. They got a glow in the dark Toxie. Actually, he changes different colors. He goes from red to green, and he goes dark. Crazy stuff. Ooh, you've got the Penny Parker. Nice. How much? What's what's the price on her? Uh, she's two. I think she's two. She's two twenty nine ninety nine. Two twenty nine ninety nine. Same thing with B, uh, Peter B. No, he's three hundred to forty. He's three hundred. Oh wow! Actually, he comes with the full. He comes with the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Why the gargoyle head? I've never understood that. <laughs> so he can like be broody on a gargoyle. That's awesome. He can eat pizza. He can have coffee. Yeah. It's all good. Awesome. Great. All right, guys. The quest, the quest for the Grail, has been completed. We finally completed our Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin set. This is crazy. I have every single Power Ranger now. This is amazing, guys. Holy cow! Once again, guys, definitely visit Silver Snail, one of the premier places in Ontario. Uh, in Toronto, sorry, to, to for comic books. They are an establishment. They've been here forever. And you guys will not regret coming here. It's an amazing, amazing uh, mecca of comics. It's, it's incredible. And of course, action figures. It's so great. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really helps me out. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Geek proud, everybody. Geek proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.